Hi there, I'm Robert Reed. There's a new version of Capture One that just got released today. It is 20.1, and if you already have Capture One 20 or the subscription model, you know, the subscription-based uh, licensing, then you can get this as a free upgrade. Now, I've just fired it up. You can see there's a brand new logo, a new splash screen, and also a new session format or something has changed in the session, so you need to upgrade those from the previous session, previous version of Capture One. So even if you're using 20.0, when you go to 20.1, it is gonna prompt you to update your session. So let's do that. And there we go. I, I'm not touching anything. It just did that on its own. So I'm gonna go back to the squirrel and this is Capture One 20.1. First glance, there's not much different. It definitely is, it's still Capture One. They didn't dramatically change the interface. They did clean up some things. And there are some big changes in the heal and clone tool in particular. There's also this new before button right here on the toolbar, which is pretty cool and allows you to look at the before and after of your images, which is fun to play with. And there's also full view where you just click this, to go back and forth. Another thing they changed is workspaces and they've removed some of the workspaces that have been in Capture One in previous versions, in particular, the black and white workspace and the simplified import export and the tethering simplified workspaces. And also some of these have been changed. For example, in the default workspace, the batch tab, which had the, the multiple gears uh, icon is, is not here anymore, though it, you can still add it back if you want it. And also by default, several of the tools come collapsed. So down here, at the bottom of the uh, exposure tool, all of these other tools are collapsed to make them a little bit easier to find. If you prefer to have them expanded, then you could go through the different tools, expand them, and then create a new workspace uh, with the, you know, your own name, and then those will be. It will save that whether or not they're expanded or not in the workspace. If you are missing these workspaces that were removed, if you use those currently, then let's go back to Capture 120.0 and I'll show you what you can do to save those. So this is back in the original Capture One 20. And you see here, it's the old logo. And these are the workspaces that are in the older version. So there's still the default. And by default, all of the tools are expanded. And also the, the new, the ones that were removed, simplified import, edit export, simplified tethered, and the black and white editing. So if this is something you want to save, then you can oh, just uh, select that workspace, so that's your current workspace, and then just save this as a new workspace, and then that will, I mean, those custom workspaces will still be available in Capture 120. Now, you may want to go back and add, like that before button I mentioned, and put that back on the toolbar, um, but I think that, uh, that's the only thing you would need to customize. All the other tools that are there will still be available in the new workspace. Well, that's it. I will have new videos coming out, in particular talking about that clone and heal brush, which is a really, really great enhancement in this version. And so that will be coming out very soon. Um, thanks for watching this. Uh, go enjoy this new version. And uh, I'm Robert Reed.